In today's video, I will be testing another well-known and used indicator, the Stochastic RSI. I will test it over 10,000 times to find out if it really works. Stay tuned to see the proven and real results of this indicator. Firstly, I want to make a public thanks to my subscriber Paul Muaddeep75 for sharing his opinion in the comments section. Today's video will be based on his request. For those who are familiar with the Dirty Dozen video from the No Nonsense Forex channel, you know that the stochastic is one of the indicators that the owner of that channel announces as being a bad indicator. As such, and at the request of my subscriber, today we are going to check in a large sample whether or not the stochastic is a bad indicator. So I'm on TradingView, which is the platform that I use to backtest every indicator and strategy. I will leave the link in the description. For the backtest process, I will use an algo that I created. I will perform the backtest on the daily time frame, on the 28 most common forex pairs, and using in sample data consisting of the years 2010 to 2014, 2016, 2018, and 2020. It's the same sample setup as in my previous videos, so in the end, we can compare all indicators and strategies. Let's now add our indicator. I will use this one here Stochastic RSI by TradingView. The settings that I will use are the default ones, which are 3 for K and D and 14 for the RSI and Stochastics lengths. Regarding the style, I will also leave the default settings. For those of you who don't know, the Stochastic RSI is used to find overbought and oversold zones. In these default settings, the overbought zone is defined above the 80 level and the oversold zone as the zone below the 20 level of the Stochastic, signals to buy or sell are given by the crossing of the K and D lines. When the K, the blue line, crosses above the D, the orange one, it is considered a long signal, and whenever the opposite happens, it is considered a short signal. As you can see, the K and D lines cross quite often, and as such, on the backtest, I will only consider long signals that appear below the 20 level and short signals that appear above the 80 level which is usually how most traders use this indicator as an entry signal one. Also, I am going to search for the ATR indicator and I will use it with the default settings. I use the ATR indicator to place the stop losses and the take profits on every single trade. For stop losses, the value will always be 1.5 times the ATR pip value and for take profits, 1 times the ATR pip value. I will now code the indicators. So, I just finished coding the indicators on my algo with the respective buy and sell orders. And another important point for the backtest is that whenever the lines cross before the previous trade is closed, the algo will close the position that was already open regardless of the zone where the lines crossed. This nuance will turn many signals that would be a complete stop loss to minor losses. Let's see if everything is ok in our code. Here we have an example of a long signal. The algo considered the entry point after the closure of the signal candle given by the indicator. The stop loss value is 1.5 times the ATR pip value, in this case 1.5 times 86.4, which is 129.6 pips. And for the take profit, the value is 1 times the ATR pip value, so 86.4. This trade will be a losing one, the stop loss was hit here. Now a short signal. The algo considered the entry point after the closure of the signal candle given by the stochastic. The stop loss value is 1.5 times the ATR pip value, in this case 1.5 times 41.9, which is 62.9 pips. And for the take profit, the value is 1 times the ATR pip value, so 41.9 pips. This trade would be a profitable one, the take profit was hit here. But as you can see, our algo is working correctly. The risk per trade that the algo will use is 2% in a bankroll of $100,000. The algo also correctly respects our in-sample data. The arrows that you see are the entries and exits from every trade signal. To point out the results, I will use the same Excel sheet I used in the last videos. I will now speed up this part of the video a little bit, but you can slow it down to see the results of every single pair. i see you in a bit. Here are our backtest results, and we can see that after almost 13,000 trades, our stochastic RSI indicator has an average win rate of 49.81% and 
and a profit of 96.45%. Before anyone tells me in the comments that the indicator is good because it gave a profit of almost 100%, think with me in a second. Do you think it is efficient to have to perform almost 13,000 trades to earn this? Just in lot commissions, for the broker you would use, those 13,000 trades must worth a fortune and therefore you would probably end in a loss, a big loss. And for those who tell me that I do the backtest in the wrong way because with a win rate below 50% with a stop loss greater than the take profit it is impossible to make a profit, please remember the nuance I mentioned earlier. I get out of many bad trades before the stop loss being activated due to the exit indication I also coded. If you don't remember, start watching the video again please. In this case, and doing the math quickly, despite the risk per trade being 2%, the average amount lost in losing trades is around 1.307%, while the average amount gained in profit once is 1.333%. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So, I think no-nonsense forex is in fact correct, this indicator is very inefficient. Of course, you can always change the settings or use the stochastic in different ways and I believe that you can improve this indicator. But here on the channel, this indicator gets a low placement on our ranking and therefore I shouldn't use it anymore. If you are interested in knowing more about the dirty dozen indicators, I advise you to watch this video, where I tested a strategy based on the moving average crossover, which is also one of the indicators that no non says forex announces as being bad. Will it be true? I challenge you to go and watch the video, you won't regret it. And that's it, I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe, share and like it to support me in bringing more content to you. Be well, thank you, bye bye.